Hello, hello, and what a lovely day it is here at Cedar Rock Studio Guitar Gallery in Indiana. My name is Dustin Furlow, and I'm hanging out with this breathtaking Buendia OMC from 2015. It's got a German spruce top and just flawless Brazilian rosewood. I mean, this is the stuff that all the luthiers covet. It's just, it's perfect. So pretty much what I was expecting when Alan told me that there was a Brazilian Buendia waiting for me. <laughs> so... Again, lovely day here. So uh, a little bit about the builder and about the guitar. Uh, Buendia, I met him at Woodstock in 2018. Really lovely guy. Uh, very, very uh, warm personality and very happy to share all of his information about uh, building guitars and his experiences. Just a very warm soul. You know, there's no other way to put it. I've seen him a couple times since then. It's just always just, he has an infectiously positive energy about him. So all that aside, you know, with that in mind, of course, he builds wonderful guitars that are an echo of who he is as a person. And so I think I've played about <clears throat> maybe five of his OMs now and a couple of Mod Ds, and they're never anything less than spectacular. I mean, they just have this very recognizable subwoofer bass and then these warm, sweet trebles that just kind of pierce inside of you. You know, they just have this really lovely connection you know, within the mix of the frequency range of the guitar. So something I always pretty much don't, it doesn't matter what woods it is, it's going to have that same effect on whatever you play. And this one has a really great setup, uh, just kind of plays itself. Um, I'll play something for you. And this is a short scale guitar, but that's down to C, G, D, G, C, D tuning. Um, still holds up really wonderfully, which I think is a mark of a great guitar when it can handle those bass frequencies and still move the bridge and the top is still um, operating as it should. These are just 12 to 53 light gauge strings. Um, yeah, I would be happy to play any of my tunes on this guitar, which my tunes tend to be a little bit more on the demanding side with stretches and uh, techniques and stuff, so the setup has to be really good. This one I had a lot of, I really love doing the sound clips for this one, so anyway, all that aside, it's got a really nice neck profile too, sort of a medium C. It's got very sort of restrained ebony binding with just a single maple purfling going around the body. That's something I love about uh, a lot of the Samaji Apprentice's work is that they're very refined in their aesthetic approach and they let the tone carry the weight of the guitar. So we've got this really lovely maple purfling to sort of frame the fingerboard. Scallop nut, which looks really lovely. It's got this really cool uh, triangle headstock inlay that you'll see in the photos. Go to a 510, one to 21 ratio tuner. So very, very smooth, very pleasant tuning experience if you're going up and down with your tunings, as I do. Yeah, I mean, this guitar is just perfect. I mean, the guy that owned it before um, is a really well-known songwriter, very uh, multi-award winning guy that I, I found out about his music a while ago. And when I found out this was his guitar, his guitar, I was like, oh, it's pretty cool. Could see he's good tasting guitars, absolutely. Um, but all that aside, I, I believe it's got a two and a quarter bridge spacing, inch and three quarter nut, quite standard. Again, 25 inch scale. Uh, Leo's OMs are about 15 and a half across the lower bout, so it's a bit bigger than like a Martin OM28. Uh, gives you a bit more fullness so you can have more versatility if you want to drive the guitar. Looks to be about four and a half or four and three eighths deep at the sides. So just a very comfortable guitar and, you know, like I said, a Swiss army knife, if you will. There's not really anything this guitar couldn't do um, if it was, at least if it was me playing it, I'd feel like there wouldn't be really much of a limit. Um, on the type of genres or right hand um, variety, if you will. But if there's anything that I missed, uh, anything additional you'd like to know, feel free to email alan at cedarrockstudio.com. Thanks for your time. Have a good day.